Hey everyone. Um, so I'm back with the solo funds update. I honestly haven't been using the platform as much as I have in the past. Um, it seems like there is a lot of more competition as far as lenders. There seems to be a lot more lenders on the, the platform. And as soon as a loan comes on us, I mean like a really good loan, it's snatched up like immediately. So unless you are like staring at your phone for hours, like trying to see like when a good loan comes and you're like really quick to like get it processed, you're, it's going to be very difficult to get loans right now, like um, to fund a good loan. And but by good loan, I mean someone who's at has a good amount of loans paid and someone who's tipping well. Um, for some reason, and I don't know why, um, it seems like borrowers are not tipping well on this app at all. Like, I'm not going to say I can only go for what I'm seeing currently and what I've seen the last couple days that I've been logging on. Like, even right now, what you see on my screen right here, like, you have one person that wants to borrow $200 that's tipping zero. Another person that wants to borrow $350 that wants to tip $10. And then Gary here who wants to borrow $500 and he wants to tip $9.75, which I think is absurd. Like if I'm lending you $500 and I don't know you from a can of paint, I feel like you should at least tip at least 10%. You know, I don't, I don't think it's fair and I don't think, you know, any borrower... Lender, I'm sorry. I don't understand why any lender would be funding loans for that low of a tip. I really think it should be at least a standard 10% tip amount flat. Um, the other thing is if so solo funds now now offers lender protection. So if a borrow if a lender funds a loan and the tip is greater than the solo funds protection, meaning um, I, I believe a $500 loan, the, the protection fee is $25. It's non-refundable. So if someone does pay back their loan, you don't get reimbursed that $25. You don't get reimbursed the fee that you pay. Um, if you're funding a loan that is $500, the tip would have to be greater than the than the solo funds lender protection because if it's not, then you'll be actually negative on the loan that you're lending out. So you're going to take on risk to possibly not get paid back on a loan. So I, I mean, honestly, I personally don't, I don't like the fact that the lenders, uh, sorry, the borrowers are tipping extremely low. I know we're in the middle of a pandemic, but you should tip your your borrower, your lender fairly. Like I, I wouldn't go out somewhere and and go to a diner or anywhere and tip a dollar on a five hundred dollar bill. It just it wouldn't be fair to me. And we're taking a lot of risk and borrow and lending to someone we don't know. And in addition, like we can't even add lender like the protection to our loans if you're not tipping well. So to any borrowers on here, just Keep that in mind when you're 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 borrowing. Just the tip has to be halfway decent in order for us to even add protection to protect ourselves in case you default. Um. So let's go a couple through a couple loans here, like all these. Like look at these. So right here, let's go to Morgan. So Morgan, she's requesting a hundred dollar loan. They're donating, has a solo donation of $7, and they're giving a 12% tip. The, the tip is 12%, the $12. So because the tip is greater than what the solo funds protection would be, you're able to add it. If they were tipping less than $5, they wouldn't add it because you would be backwards on your loan. Um, so I think what happened was happening with Gary is because every time I turn, every time I refresh it, his loan keeps disappearing and then coming back. People are like probably, um, 
they're probably editing the terms or trying to edit the tip and he's declining it. So I just, I don't understand that. Like $500, $9.75 tip, like for to borrow $500 for two weeks. I'm not, I don't like that. Um, and if anyone from Solo Funds that works at Solo Funds, what I think would be a really great enhancement to this app is if me as a lender, if I could be notified for certain borrower, like I could filter, like if someone requests a loan and they have X amount of loans paid back and they're, they're like, I could put a filter on that says, I want to be notified whenever a borrower requests a loan that has more than 30 loans repaid and uh, it's tipping 10% on the loan that they're requesting. Like, I would like to get notified because of that. I can't, I would love to, but I can't stare at my phone all day waiting for a good loan to come through. It's like, it's impossible for me. So like, literally I can only fund loans whenever I get a chance and look around, like get a chance to look and see what's available. But if I'm notified, that would be good. Like, hey, such and such lender pay back a loan has just requested another loan and so in the marketplace. Like, that would be really great for me. I'm trying to think what else. Okay. Also, another, see, Gary's loan came back on here. So he's, he's just, he's playing hardball. He's saying, I want to borrow $500 and I want to only pay $9.50, and that's what I'm paying. And I don't think that's fair. And honestly, I don't think I don't think lenders should be paying. What is that? I don't even know what percentage tip that is. Let's see what ten dollar tip is. That's too like I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not going to lend someone and get two percent back return. Like I'm not. I'm not with that. Like I can lend a hundred dollars and get that back. Why would I? Why would I risk five hundred dollars to possibly not get paid back? You can't even add protection on my loan because you're tipping so low. Um. But honestly, I would invest more money if I had a better, like, sometimes really good, like, I try to stay on top of borrowers that I have a really good rapport with, like, and I I don't know these people, but, like, I lent with them multiple, multiple, multiple times, like, if I could be notified, like, when they request a loan, that way I could get one ASAP, I would love that, like, that would just be perfect, amazing for me. Let's see. Okay. So also another thing that solo funds do does now is if a loan is defaulted, they will give them a, I believe it's an eight day grace period or seven days, it's either eight or seven days after the seventh day or eighth day, if they don't pay back, solo fund automatically takes 20% of, well, I believe they charge them a fee, but then after that, then they charge, um, you, the borrower, a lender, a 20% recovery fee. So uh, in the event, because I've actually had this happen before, in the event that uh, someone requests a loan and is like maybe like a week, maybe, I don't know, maybe something happens and they, they, hey, I can't pay back this paycheck. They don't offer the rollover feature anymore. Like the funds maximum are 15 days and that's it. If they're unable to pay it back, like let's say for instance, they need an extra pay pay check to pay it back. You only have eight days to get that fund money back before you get tacked on a 20% fee. And I understand for solo funds, like they got to work and recover the, the money. So this is a, another thing that you have to think about. Um, yeah, but if you guys have any, um, 
reviews or or comments, you know, leave it at the bottom. I want to try to become more active on here and talk about other things like credit and checking accounts and, you know, good credit cards, rebuilding credit, things like that. Um, so stay tuned.